Since 1994, folks have trusted Neptune Radiator and Auto Repair with their automotive needs. From tires to tune-ups, we do everything except glass and bodywork. We're a complete auto care center. We service all makes and models. Let us be your one-stop shop. With over 40 years combined experience, we have ASE Master Mechanics. Call 620-231-5890 and ask for Jeff or Michelle. Neptune Auto Repair, 602 West 4th Street, Pittsburgh. Hi everybody, Tom Van Hoy with another edition of the Pitt State Football Showcase. Brought to you by Neptune Auto Service. Marquise Cushion is a sophomore wide receiver return man for Pitt State at 5'6", 156. Great speed from Raytown South High School, Kansas City, Missouri. A dual sport athlete for PSU. Also an All-American in track and field. Making the transition from defense to wide receiver this year. Started two games as a freshman at the secondary for Pittsburgh State a year ago. Made that move last spring. So how has that transition gone? Uh, it's been a wonderful experience, you know. Uh, you know, transferring from the defense to offense side of the ball, working with like uh, John Brown and Gavin and all them guys and A. Austin Daniels, and uh, uh, you know, they uh, brought me in real well. And Coach Phil Paul worked with me to uh, get all the plays down. But it's been like just a fun experience working with the playmakers. How did the change come? Did you were a defensive guy? You started a couple of games. Uh, as a youngster there at uh, Pitt State, uh, did you want to make the move, or how did it come about, I guess? Uh, in high school, I was a uh, all-state receiver, defensive back end, uh, kick return specialist. So, I mean, the change, it, it like, in, high, in college, I could see myself actually just going both ways or playing off, offense and focusing on offense or playing defense or focusing on defense. I felt like I'm uh, pretty athletic enough to do so, and the coaches trust me into doing both. So, it just I'm just glad they gave me the opportunity to uh, – uh, do a little both here. So would you rather come up and uh, hit somebody or catch the football yeah. and run away from them? You know, playing for uh, Coach Weimers uh, on defense is so fun. You know, them guys do get to fly around a lot and get to uh, smack people. But, you know, sometimes it's also fun to, you know, get a little different type of credit in uh, helping the offense, you know, uh, get a get a, a big play to uh, get a drive going for Jeff Seabold and uh, John Brown. It's just fun playing both. Does it make a difference having played defense to know how a defensive back might defend you as a wide receiver? It's, it's good that I kind of uh, know both, you know, being playing. I, I can kind of see some coverages, you know, pretty easily, see if it's two high safeties or one high safety. You know, that's a little bit more football talk. And, and, but, you know, it's just fun, you know, just doing uh, both. Is it difficult to learn um, what's expected of the passing game at Pitt State as a wide receiver? Uh, they they talk a uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, you know a lot of different formations, but really like the uh, same scheme. So it's really not difficult once you get the concept down. But that's uh, you just gotta uh, really focus hard and get into it, and you know talk to Tony every uh, a lot of like off the uh, field and get to know him a little personally, so you guys can get a little sense of timing down. But you know working with the uh, coaches, Coach Ramsey on offense, you know they try to uh, make it pretty simple for us. Is it, from a route running standpoint, are there specific routes you run, or is it a situation at Pitt State where you need to read the defender and maybe be on the same page with uh, with Anthony Abanoa? Yeah, that's in uh, a lot of cases. You know, they uh, a lot of, in our uh, different uh, uh, concepts, we have a lot of uh, blitz packages, you know, where we got to read heights. And, you know, if you don't read your height, like sometimes I, I'm liable to miss my height, you, you don't read your height then uh, it could be just bad communication and it just could be a play on bad. You made this switch in the spring over to uh, the offensive side of the football and you mentioned uh, Abanoa there. Uh, was it, has it taken time to get uh, familiar with him and the, what he expects and where he throws the ball, things like that? Yes, I mean, that's why we uh, work hard in offseason, you know, to try to get those things down, work hard in practice, try to get them down and just uh, each second, each play. Each game, we just take it uh, one play at a time and make sure that we're on the same uh, page with each other. Tom Van Oy visiting Marquise Cushion, Pitt State Football Showcase, brought to you by Neptune Auto Service. Marquise, you mentioned John Brown earlier. I mean, I, I guess that's a pretty good role model there, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, John is a, a wide receiver guru. He can know all the little tricks to the trade, and I just try to learn, uh, get to learn a little bit uh, from off of him, and it's just really been a help for me in this uh, transition to receivers.
is your game uh, like his? I mean, sometimes receivers are big receivers, and and uh, you're a little bit smaller in stature. Is your game more like his in terms of a uh, wide receiver? You know, I try to uh, rely really on my on my speed. You know, and trying to find the uh, holes in the zone, or if they play a man, try uh, to uh, beat them just off of with my speed. But John, he can do it all. He can make the right cut, and he can get it beat it with his speed. And he he get the inside release, outside release, and he just does it all. And you know, I do try to mimic some of my game off of uh, JB, just because you know who wouldn't? He's a uh, <laughs> probably the best receiver to come through Pitt State. So how how are your hands? If that ball's in the general area, you gonna catch it? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, in the games I'm really I'm, when I'm really zoned in, I'm liable to drop a few at practice. But in the games I'll be really zoned in and uh, try to make a, a nice catch. Is it competitive? And you mentioned several other the receivers. Just uh, from a receiver standpoint, you guys go at it day uh, in and day out. And I mean, you know, when you get uh, your it's, opportunity, it's, it's they fun, take advantage. It's fun. You know, we always uh, go hard. Austin Daniels. Uh, Gavin Loveman, John Brown, of course, me, myself, Herman, we love to give just give each other like real, real hard work. We we're the first one out there, uh, uh warming up, stretching, and it's just a blast from those guys. Those guys, uh, they keep it going. Well, you had a breakout game against Northwest, four catch at 129 yards, that 37 yard touchdown pass. Um, how were you able to do that on that day? Uh, really, you know, we just take it each uh, play each game at a time, and, you know, the, it was just to focus in on that point. And plus, I get a lot of support from the Kansas City area. A lot of my family was there to support me. And it was just a fun playing in the, uh, that situation, you know, playing in the uh, National Football League Stadium. Can that be overwhelming? <laughs> uh, no, you know, you just got to embrace it and take the uh, excitement, use it, make it positive. And it, just, it was just a fun house. It was a fun opportunity. So you like to run the football? You like for him to give it to you a little bit more, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you do a little outside zone, and I do. I do. I, do, I, I take. I feel comfortable with the ball in my hands. Let's talk about the return game because John Brown does that. You do as well. Uh, do you like that aspect and uh, kick return versus punt return? Uh, one you favor one over the other, maybe? Yeah, you know, actually, in uh, high school, I. I was able to do a lot of punt returns, and you know, I took like three back in high school. So you know, what I'm saying when I when I get my opportunity to really uh, play punt return, you know, I'm gonna just try to excel at that. But the kick return game right now has been a really, really good strength for us in the uh, season because it usually give our offense a good field position to work with. And me and John Brown back there, it's just been just phenomenal. What does it take to be a good kick returner? You know, you just. You gotta you view the whole field, and then you know you just gotta uh, use your speed. And the the guys up front, they do a great job setting up the blocks. And you just gotta read the blocks, and you just gotta hit that sense of timing with the speed right through the uh, through a gap that you see and just accelerate. And I feel like me and John Brown back there is just perfect. So did did you really jump fifty one ten and a half in the triple jump? <laughs> yes. Uh, I I I also I'm a dual sport athlete. I uh yeah. I do run track. Man, that that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. You know, I get to uh, know a lot of them track guys personally, and it's just fun going out there uh, competing with a whole bunch of Pitt uh, State athletes, and it's just a fun place to be around when you're doing a lot of winning on um, uh, dual sports. How are you able to uh, yeah, segment your time, I guess, between the two sports? You know, uh you just got to have, I'm like, you know, really operative, so I just have like a, a nice little schedule that I can go off of, and I just uh, make sure that we're on the, that we're all, they, they do a good job communicating with each other, so we're all on the same page, and then I just try to fill my classes in between that schedule, and then I just uh, work, work it whenever they need me to. And does track help you in football? Yeah, it really does, you know, uh, just the number one, staying in shape and staying fit, and uh, being... You know, just uh, having just that extra speed that most guys don't know about. It's just, just fun to do. What what kind of speed, t- uh, team speed, does the Pitt State football team have? Guys, k- keep up with you? 
<laughs> we got we got some fast guys and uh the coaches preach playing fast every day and I feel like, you know, like you said earlier, we're a lot of competitive with each other, so you know, everybody goes fast. It's it's, it's just a fast sport. But you have to be able to control it though. I mean it's not it's one thing to be able to run past oh, yeah. everybody, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing that triple jumps helps just a, a little sense of balance. And you just gotta have that speed and you gotta be able to balance the two. With that, with the cutting and all the all the other stuff that uh, associates with football, but it's it's real fun to do both. Hey, you were talking earlier about uh, people supporting you at Arrowhead in, in that ball game with Northwest. You're from that area, Kansas City, Missouri, Raytown, uh, South. Uh, how how do you end up at Pitt State? You know, we got some guys from my high school that uh, came here, and you know. When I came on my visit here, I got to uh, meet uh, Solomon Watkins, and he's uh, me and him had a real uh, nice relationship when I first got here. Then got to come in and meet some more guys like Nate and JB and Jeff Siebel and uh, Devontae Bosby. You know, then we just then when you really get into it with the team, it's just just fun, and it's just so much fun out there to get to know each guy personally. How big a game was it last week against Missouri Western after the loss to Northwest? You know, this is uh, going to be a big uh, confident booster, you know, going into the last three-game stretch of our season. And then, you know, hopefully extending that to uh, playoff play. But really, we were just thinking, you know, each play, each, each game. Each. So, you know, we were, we were just taking it one at a time. Do you like to play in games like that? You know, it's a... Uh, you know, in the MIAA, there's a lot of good teams, and uh, you never know who you are. Uh, who you could lose to because everybody in my double is good. Is this a team, a Pitt State team, that you think uh, can make a run uh, if you get into the playoffs this year? You know, we we have a uh, we have a lot of talent. I feel on both sides of the ball, and I feel like the uh, coaches do a tremendous job with the guys. And I feel if uh, we're just going to take it each play, each game, each second, but who know how far it can take us? Is it difficult to take it one play at a time? Is, can you put uh, <laughs> maybe a negative play behind you and move on to the next one? How tough is that? You just you just gotta just uh just really sit down and just focus. You know, it's just a uh, great plan in here at Pitt State and it's just a uh, lovely atmosphere. But you just gotta take it uh one play at a time. Is there a chemistry, a camaraderie on this football team that uh can bode well, I guess, for you down the stretch? Yeah, that's uh that's why I said uh, we have a lot of uh a lot of uh support with each other and you know a lot of support, and I get to know these guys personally, you know, football, and then the track team support us and everybody else around support us, and it's just a lovely atmosphere at Pitt State. Like, who wouldn't want to do this? Yeah, it's kind of cool to play before, what, about ten or 11,000, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an amazing atmosphere. What's it like on that gorilla walk? You get the goose bump <laughs> coming over? Uh, yeah, it's uh, fun. You know, that's the time when you uh, really get the zone in. And then uh, seeing all them fans is just um, unbelievable. And then the chemistry with the guys is just unbelievable. And it's just, just great. That's Pitt State wide receiver, return man, track All-American, Marquise Cushion. On this edition of the Pitt State Football Showcase, brought to you by Neptune Auto Service. Marquise on the year, 14 catches, 276 yards, a touchdown, about 19.7 yards per catch. Has carried the ball 11 times for 139 yards. 12.6 yards per carry, one punt return for 16 yards, and kickoff return averaging 27.8 on five returns. Now John Brown averaging 41.5 on six, so who do you want to kick the football to, right? Pitt State home Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock kick with Northwestern Oklahoma State, an on-conference game. It's a big day, Hall of Fame game, just three games to play regular season. Add Lindenwood and finish with Missouri Southern as well in Pittsburgh. I'm Tom Van Hoy. Tom Van Hoy. Tom Van Hoy.